Do you know, I've done all sorts of things in my life that I regret. And I've said things to people that I desperately wish I hadn't. Sometimes I've, I've been mean and I've taken an opposing view to someone and I've pushed my views down their throats. And it's been, well, it's been very embarrassing, particularly when subsequently late, later on I realise I was wrong. And you know that feeling when you're trying to save face and the person that, that you've abused verbally like this by telling them, no, 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 you should think my way, not your way, is very difficult because then they don't know quite how to, what to do. And you hope, you hope that they will forgive you. I mean, there's loads of instances I could say that to. Uh, and it's funny, the reason I'm thinking about this is because a friend of mine came over to me uh, only the other day and he said, oh, Richard, Richard, I'm in this awful situation. I've taken a stance. And I said, oh, yeah. He said, you know, when the virus was here and then there was the the miracle cure, let's say. And I was vehemently um, for it. I wanted to have it. I have had it and I've had it. And I was telling everybody else to have it. But I've been worried now because I've been looking at various YouTube videos and other platforms and I've done my own research and I didn't feel terribly well at the time and, and I'm a bit nervous about it and, and actually now I regret it. And I said, what do you mean? He said, no, I regret taking it. But more than that, I regret pushing my views on other people to say they ought to take it. I was telling them that they were stupid if they didn't take it. I was telling them that they were likely to put other people's lives at danger. But I've seen how one of the companies that was manufacturing this miracle cure was actually not telling us the truth because it hadn't been tested fully. It was an experimental drug. And, and also, of course, they admitted that it hadn't been tested to not stop you from passing on the virus, you see. And, and now the government won't talk about it. And yet I do know people who have suffered terribly. And, and I just feel really bad. And I said to my friend, I said, what are you going to do? What, 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 the, what are you going to do about that? And they said, well, listen, the thing is, I want to tell people that I was wrong. And I said, well, wh why can't you tell people you're wrong? And he said, I just feel the embarrassment because I pushed my views on other people so hard. And, and, and but now I regret it because I realise I'd made a mistake. And I said, surely, surely the answer is to put your hand up and just say to you, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said these things. I was wrong. I said, I know you said those things to me. And, and of course, I was very much against having this um, magic cure put into me because it was experimental, because there hadn't been years of testing, because I wasn't convinced that for me it would do any good because I had natural immunity, etc. And that the, the virus itself was only aiming itself at, um, say, the people over 80 or people with comorbidities. And I never felt it was necessary for me and that's how my stance and I haven't changed on that because and they said no no you're right I think you're right now but I'm really sorry I said look if you're sorry you got it wrong and you're sorry for all this thing of course I accept it of course I accept it I said to him don't forget the mainstream media were on your case they were conjoling you and in some cases they were mandating you to have the miracle cure and not only the mainstream media of course the government was saying it and and other elites were telling you how stupid and how ignorant you would be if you didn't get it and of course in some instances you couldn't keep a job unless you'd had this miracle cure so I said you have nothing to be ashamed of for believing and following the hype. And he said, oh, Richard, I'm so pleased you say that, but there's other people I'm really nervous about it. And I said, look, don't be nervous. I said, the thing that you need to do is if you've had it and you're having doubts and you think that perhaps it was a mistake or you think that you've you've treated people perhaps slightly badly by suggesting that they were stupid or that you've had, a, you know, you put on social media that other people should take this. I said, don't be frightened. Don't be frightened because the people who you were aiming at that are people who didn't do it, who didn't have it who have stood firm 
they will forgive you because we know what the what the strength of the multi uh, the mi mainstream media and and the government and all of that was there to persuade you absolutely some of us were swept up with the whole hype of it and some of us just saw through it it's nothing to be embarrassed about and he said oh but i need to tell you know there are people i've told to have it and on the strength of what i've said they've had it and i said again you can't take the responsibility for somebody else's decisions. You gave them your advice. You may have been fairly harsh with it. That's true. But you can't take that responsibility because so many people were persuaded and it was dictated by the government of the day and, of course, the mainstream media and all the elites and, you know, the pressure to have to do this, to accept it. So please don't worry. And then we had a further chat about, you know, the sort of stuff that I was talking about. And I said, look, you know, we're all in this together. It seems to me at this situation that people have been lied to. They've been lied to by the government, I believe. It's just an opinion, of course. But I think that they have mis been misguided. They have been ill-advised and the mainstream media have gone along with it or have been dictated to say certain things. I don't know for sure and I can't say that's the case, but that's how I feel. It just feels as if the benevolent government that are supposedly there as our servants because we pay the taxes that put them in power. We pay them to do this job because we are sovereign. And I told him all of this. I said, look, you've got to understand we are the sovereign people the people came first the parliament and the government we we basically gave them legitimacy but they are our servants think civil servant this is what they're supposed to be members of parliament they are members that we have put there we if if we hadn't have voted for them they would not be there. They are our servants. We are the masters of them collectively. So as a result of that, we must we must not let them divide us because that's how they conquer. So there will be debates about whether it was the right thing to do to take the miracle cure or not. But we must, we, you know, the people who were put upon, who were told we were idiots for not doing this, must forgive those people who fell under the spell. And it was, it was like some curse that was put on you. We, I forgive you and I forgive everybody who has told me that I was an idiot if they say, do you know what? I'm sorry, and they put their hands up. Of course, because we must come together. We must take back the responsibility for ourselves and each other because it is, it is definitely us, very much us the people, who have been put upon by the, the globalists, if you like, to use some form of collective term for them. Those people who think that they are better than us, who are trying to push us apart and have us attack one another. You know, like with, say, this war going on in another country, two big major countries who are fighting against each other. I know that these same people, the they out there, they want us to take sides all the time. To, in my mind, I said to my friend, this started with Brexit, in which it was almost the English civil war where brother was against brother, one family against another family. And that's how they divide and conquer. We mustn't let them. We must hear them out and go, OK, that's what you think. You're trying to make us take a side, whether it be on this side or that side. But actually, what you're doing is you're slicing up the people who are the thing that we all have in common is that we're being oppressed, we're being dictated to, we're being told that our freedoms are being extracted and we're, uh, and we're being distracted because we're arguing amongst ourselves. Was it right to take this medical procedure or wasn't it? And all the time that that's happening, we are losing something far more important. We are losing our freedom. And together, by reuniting again, we are so powerful. We are so much more powerful than them. There are more of us than them, and we must remain united. And my friend said, you know what, Richard, I hadn't thought of it like that. I was just thinking of myself and how sorry I was, but how I couldn't save face. And I said, don't worry. We 
the people who might have been a little bit, you know, treated badly because of the attitudes that you had at the time, we forgive you because we know that we all have to get together and be one, one solid unit and, and not let them divide us. Yeah, we might think, OK, personally, I support this team and you support that team, but it's a game, you know, it's a game. We're not enemies. We, the people, are mates, we're friends, we are all together in this. And so that way it keeps our strength. We mustn't let them divide us. We really mustn't, because that's how we're going to win this by being one, by having love for one another, by being united, that's how we do it. And we know that their plan is to constantly to try and push us apart and get us into sort of at atoms all over the place because they know our power is by joining up. So we shook hands, he said he was sorry, I said I completely forgive you, we hugged and that was it. We now, my friend and I, are back being united. And it's great. And to all my friends who have perhaps they think that, oh, maybe, maybe I did the wrong thing and I don't know how to say it to me. I forgive you. Of course I do, because together we're stronger. And I think that's the case for everybody. We can save face. We can join up. And we again, once again, can be an amazing bunch of people who will defeat those people who want to take away our freedoms and divide us.